Hi guys, it's Friday night and we're off on our first road trip for the year. We're going to the Cotswolds just for the weekend, because you can. And we've just picked up our rental car and I think it's about a two hour drive. Except the true test is that it's a manual. In Australia, typically everyone drives automatic cars. I'm gonna say like 90%? Like 90% of people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 90% of people will drive an automatic. However, an automatic car is three times the price to rent. So, we've gone with the manual. Wish us luck. Surprisingly not that nervous about it. I'm alive. Made it one piece, guys. Stored a few times, but it's all right. It was okay once you got going. I think you did very well. Thank you. I was right. stressed out, especially because the roads here are different. Even, at least it was on the same side of the road. Yeah. But then there was so, when you get onto the motorway, you have to, there were just so many turns left, right. It was very confusing. Yeah. Right. So we got go, lost. We're going to go check in now. Find some yes. food. Yes, I'm hungry. 9.30 and we haven't had dinner. Has it been so hot? Yeah, good. How's it going? So we found this little Indian place. We're upstairs at the moment and we're about to have dinner. But it smells really good. Our food smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. We have garlic naan. We have a lamb tikka. And what was it? A vegetarian, a veggie... Veggie buna. buna. No, this one's a jalfrezi. Yeah. Lamb. And we got some rice as well. He recommended the way to recommend these two. Okay, we're gonna eat now. We just finished dinner at a place called Aroma. Really good Indian food. And they were really friendly as well. They're so friendly. Yeah. And the guy that was working there gave us some recommendations. Um, he actually used to live in London and he's moved out this way. Um, and I can understand why because it's so relaxed out here. Uh, but he's given us a few ideas for our trip down this way, yeah. So we're gonna go do some exploring tomorrow, but we're just gonna head back to our um, hotel right now, because uh, it's about 11 o'clock. We're back. It only took us, well, it took us two minutes to walk back and five minutes to reverse park the car. <laughs> you did well. I'm getting better at it. Yeah, no stalling this time. All right, <laughs> so I, <laughs> I thought we'd do a room tour before we mess it up. Well, it's still a bit messy, but anyway. Such a cute little cottage. Yeah, so here's the bed. Here's the wallpaper. They actually booked us into two rooms. They said, here's two keys. And we don't know why, but we got to choose rooms. We liked the layout of this one better, but the other one had nicer wallpaper that was totally Instagrammable. So we're gonna say goodnight. And we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Morning guys. Just heading to breakfast now. We're staying at this cute uh, little hotel out in a place called Borton on the Water. And Borton or Burton? It's Borton. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was I thought it was Burton. Alright, breakfast time. So I got a full English breakfast and just got scrambled eggs with smoked salmon on toast. <laughs> Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're just walking down into the town area. There's a perfumery that I want to check out and also a candle shop. So, just walking into the town. All right, we're here ready. <laughs> perfume shop was closed but we're we don't really have a plan for this weekend we're just walking around town we're gonna go check out a pottery shop which is one of the things that you do here so hopefully that's open hi. Morning. Hi. 
They had really cool things in the pottery shop, but... And all, <laughs> all their things are handmade using many locally sourced materials. Yeah, they make them all out the back in there. Yeah. But <laughs> our cup drawer is getting a little bit full, so we're not sure. Might come back after. <laughs> the cups are really good, nice. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go for a walk now. Driven out to Dover's Hill. It's pretty busy out here, and it's supposed to be a really nice view of this whole area. We had a bit of trouble getting here. <laughs> I stalled a few times. Um, just can't get used to this manual business. <laughs> Look, it's my third time driving a manual car. Like your boots. <laughs> Matching. <laughs> Decided to explore a little town called Chipping Camden. They've got lots of little cute shops and stuff. We might get some tea and scones. <laughs> I've just stopped off in this Marcus Hall that's been here since 16. 27. It's really cool. Just stopped off for a sausage roll, some coffee, and I got an almond croissant. <laughs> this one was a bit hungry. <laughs> With a sandwich. Yum. We're gonna get this honey. Because we are on a constant hunt for good honey here. I'm very excited for our honey. Do you see those blue skies? Yeah. It's exciting stuff. There's sun, and the sun is nice and warm. Just arrived at Broadway Tower. We're going to change to boots because. Could be muddy out there, and there was a lot of sheep poo at Dover's Hill. <laughs> it's pretty gross. <laughs> at least you have boots. <laughs> what are we dealing with right now? Is it, is it mud or is it poo? That's the, that's, that's the question, isn't it? You don't actually know. Let's hope it's mud. Don't, don't want to risk it because it's going into my bag. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> hey guys, there could be deer in here. That's what the sign said. My favorite animals. Your favorite animals. Flashback to Japan. <laughs> no, really, we can do a flashback. <laughs> We're both debuting our new boots today. They're a little bit pooey, but it's better than getting poo all over your other shoes. Yeah. Alright, where are we off to next? Chocolate shop! When we were having lunch, they were selling these chocolates that looked amazing, and the company was, I think it was chocolate, Cotswold's Chocolate Company. And so it turns out that it's on the way back to where we're staying. In Stowe on the water, Stow on the water. Stowe on the water, I think. Could be wrong. Anyway, we're gonna go there and check it out and buy chocolates as souvenirs. I've decided that while we're living in London and we don't want to collect a lot of stuff, in order to remember the trip, we're gonna buy food because you can see them the food and you can still remember the experience. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Alright, so we've arrived in one piece. <laughs> You're getting better. I'm getting better. Just need to keep practicing. And now we're going to go check out the chocolate shop. 
and then maybe we'll have some afternoon tea. Yeah. I feel like some scones. Mm. Tell us, do you do cream and then jam? Or jam then cream? Ooh. See, it's I'm a, a jam then cream on top. Otherwise, um, yeah, otherwise the cream melts. It goes all watery if the scone's hot. That's true. That's just me. I think, what do I do? Yeah, I do jam then cream. Yeah, let us know. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's got a five star rating on Google. Does let's that, have a look. Yeah. No, no, I want to go to my chocolate shop first. Oh, okay, let's Wait. go to chocolate shop. Huh? What time are they close? What's today? It's on Saturday. Five. Five. What time is it? Three. Okay, we're going to go to the chocolate shop first and then come back and get some scones. Is this it? It is it. How good does it smell? It smells so good in here. Thank you. You're welcome. Ever salted caramel sauce. Guys, they're making chocolate in there. Oh, it smells so good in here. Have you tried to cross the road from Hampton? I'm sure you have this. Yeah. No, no, right. no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Alright, round two. <laughs> That's always good. Always good. Look at the TripAdvisor. Would you like a cup of tea? We got our tea and scones. You're so excited, aren't you? We got forest fruit jam and I got strawberry. But there's heaps here. And I got an Earl Grey tea and just got a normal tea. First you put the jam, <laughs> cream on top. How is it? Is it really good? Best scone you've ever had? <laughs> Much fun. The scones are amazing. <laughs> I know, it was awesome. So we ate at this place called the Old Bakery Tea Rooms. Mm -hmm. Really good scones. And the guy who was sitting next to us, he was really nice. He just approached us and started talking about... They were all from around here, so he was talking about how um, this is one of their favourite places to come and eat scones. Um, and he's lived around here for a long time and the owner was really nice as well so if you're ever in Stowe make sure you come and visit the old tea room ba old bakery tea rooms see ya see ya we just stopped off at this shop <laughs> what did we get? we bought a teapot because you know how we love our tea and I got a pillow as well because <laughs> I don't have a pillow back in London well I've got an Ikea pillow and it was two pounds <laughs> And it's not very good, so... He's been sleeping on her for six months? Yep. We figure six pounds for a pillow. Originally 25 pounds. It's low risk. It looks good. If it doesn't... If it doesn't work out, <laughs> Mum, you're sleeping on that pillow when you yeah. come and stay with us in May. <laughs> and this That's is, your pillow. This was the same teapot that we just had tea out of at the little scones place. Yeah. So it must be good. And it was only four pounds. Pretty good deal. <laughs> Nice. It's pretty hot. Nice style. <laughs> There's a fudge shop. We missed out. We did get chocolate though. Ooh. Ooh, and a sweet shop. Need to come here next time. Hey guys. I just had a bit of a rest in the afternoon. We're both a bit tired. This one had a nap. Yeah, well, it wasn't really during the afternoon. It was more evening, I think. It's like 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 to 7.30. It was good. Anyway, it's about 8.30 right now and we're looking for dinner. The first two places we want to go to are both closed, which is not a good start. Um, but we're going to go try this other pub. If not, we're going to head back to where we're, staying. where we're staying. And there's an Italian restaurant there, so we should be able to get some pizza or pasta or something. Um, 
and it's warm inside, so it's pretty dead out here. It's very quiet. I think we found dinner at a place called the Mouse Trap Inn. It's got a mouse on the front. Mum would hate this place, it's got mice all over it. <laughs> it's like ratatouille. Nice one. Cheers. Whoop. It's like fancy. It tastes tastes good. good. Well, my beer's really sweet. So I got fish and chips. Yeah, I got vegetable risotto. I didn't feel like meat. But it's a salad. Mm. I don't think I need the salad. I think this is enough. <laughs> We're still full from the scones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>